Hi everyone, we're going to do special factorization and completely factor the following expressions. We have three here that we're going to do. These three. Okay. So the first one is fairly easy if you can just um, pull out the x because we have a common factor of x. This should have been squared. So we have x and we get x squared plus 17x plus 16. And when you see the difference of 1 here, um, basically you're just going to put plus 16 and then plus 1, or you could put the plus 1 first, and then just take a look. This is 1x plus 16x, which gives you the 17x. So that's your final answer. This one um, is written like this. So for me, the first thing I would do is just rewrite it, and I can uh, fix it later, but um, it's kind of a little confusing with the x4 there, so I would just rewrite it like this. And I still don't like that, but I know it's going to be negative x squared and x. And what I did, because there's so many factors of 144, so I went to my graphing calculator, and in my graphing calculator, um, under y, the function key, I just wrote in 144 divided by x. And then I did second graph, which gave me a table of values. <coughs> and it gives you your factors of 144. So when you do that, you can get everything you need, because we want, we want is a 32. And um, let's see. I get 144 divided by x. And then I graph, um, do second graph. And when you do that, my calculator is going slow. You'll, you'll see stuff like um, 1 for x, xy is 144. And you'll see 2 and 72, 4 and 36. And then you'll see 5 and 28.8. We don't want that. 6 and 24 and all that. And you're trying to get a 32. So what I notice here, and you can keep looking down the, the table, uh, is if you do 36 minus 4, that gives you a 32. So that's the ones I'm going to use. And um, I want my 30, I want this to be positive. So this is going to be negative 36. And then this one's going to have to be... Um, minus 4. So let's check it out. We This has to be minus 4 because this is a positive. So when you do your outer, you get negative 4 times negative 36 is uh, positive 144. And these are both square here. Um, but when you distribute for the inner functions and the outer functions, you're going to get, if I do this one, you get 36x squared minus 4x squared, and that does give you your 32x squared. So that's the correct factorization. If you want, because we rewrote this, just switch the numbers. So now we can just write this as negative 4 minus x squared, and this one's negative 36 plus x squared which is kind of a little easier to do than trying to factor originally like that. Okay, and the last one is this one. <coughs> this is my difference of squares formula. a squared minus b squared equals a minus b times a plus b. So I just need my a and my b. So for my a, I'm going to get 4x 
to the 2a and this would be y to the 4a because all you're doing is multiplying these with your product property. So since I have my a, which is 4x to the 2a, and my b, which is y to the 4a, I can fill this out. So let's fill that out. We have 4x to the 2a minus y to the 4a times 4x to the 2a plus y to the 4a. Again, we can um, factor that more. So on that one, if I set my a and my b squared here, I'm going to get 2x to the a, and then this one's going to be y to the 2a. So your a is 2xa, <coughs> and your b is y um, to the 2a. And then you just fill this out again. So what we have is 2x to the a minus y to the 2a. And then you have 2x to the a. This looks like a 9. That's an a. Plus y to the 2a. And don't forget to copy him down. 4x let me erase some of this. 4x to the 2a plus y to the 4a. You can't factor this one completely. Now, um, we're done because we can't factor this anymore, and this would be your final answer. And that's all. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.